Yo, what is going on guys? It is Dragon Warrior Zero. We are back with more content for the channel. Uh, this is going to be, like I said, um, a couple about a week or two ago. This is going to be the first ever playthrough of Legends Arceus for the channel. Um, I know that the game just kind of sort of came out. Uh, I've been avoiding any kind of spoilers that I can for this game in particular, just so I can, you know, experience this first play through everything with you guys so i guess let's let's see what happens and we'll go from there welcome to my realm located beyond both time and space it is well that thou art here i am that which humans call arceus Now, I wish to know thine appearance. Okay, so obviously we're going with the generic thing, so we're just gonna go with the hairstyle that normally fits me for the beginning. What is thy name? We're just gonna call ourselves Dragon, because that's who we be. Yes, I am Dragon. Dragon. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a sh world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Dragon. Seek out all Pokemon, and thou shalt find me once more. Yes, God. <laughs> I, I, that's the I think I think that's the first time that a Pokemon has ever really spoken to someone outright in pretty much any game. I could be wrong. Oh look, my phone! No, my mom gave me that phone. Uh. Arceus, is that you? Yep, that's, that is 100% Arceus. Thank you, God. I really appreciate you. Um, rest your weary soul beneath my bosom. I have been hearing a lot of good things about this game though like it's it's actually genuinely good from what i keep hearing wake up oh do wake up won't you oh are you alive, my boy okay good i didn't think it was i thought it was a guy but i wasn't sure You gave me quite the shock falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness you seem unharmed. Uh, who are you? I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, you fell out of the sky, you understand. Come now, who in the world does that? I must say, your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to be have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I doubt it. I see. You seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some directions? Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? Probably not. So you don't know anyone here, and you don't know where to spend the night. Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure that you'll be able to survive? Somehow, I guess? I see. Well, no gentleman would have been in a person in such need. They're all three cute ones. 
Oh my, I had completely forgotten. I had just caught up to these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. But, do you even know what a Pokemon is? Of course I do. They're a pocket monster. My, that's a relief. Though you fell from the sky, it seems we have some common ground, eh? Yes, well, these three Pokemon belong to me, mysterious creatures that they are. And, oh yes, and what might your name be? I need Dragon. Oh, so you're called Dragon! That name has quite the ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. Oh, I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Laventon. I am something of a Pokemon professor. I swear, if he, a Laventon is an actual tree, I wouldn't be surprised. Just saying. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these three... <laughs> They're like, nope, bye. Oh, blast and bother. My darling Pokemon, why must you run from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you can help me round them up? I beg you. Wait, you three. Way! All right, so our stick controls camera. Okay, well, at least that's good. Left stick controls that. B is to crouch. Okay, so pushing in left stick is to sprint. Pressing up on that opens the menu. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so it looks like the left bumper actually, like, resets the camera. Is that my phone? Just, like, with an Arceus phone case? Oh, look! My phone got upgraded! You found something that resembles a phone. It's probably your phone, but it's changed shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. Yeah, because it literally gave- it literally is my phone, but with an Arceus case. I bestow upon thee this arc phone and thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. Okay. I'll go catch Pokemon, I guess. Camera's a little touchy, but I think I'll get used to it. Not that bad. <sighs> Alas, yet another miss. Aha, I'm glad that you've come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs in their way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. I'd love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you about these first. Now, that one is Rowlet. Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. It also turns into Dekudai, which is literally an owl archer. That one over there is Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up when it, whenever it is surprised or irate. It's also been like the only Johto starter I ever really choose in Gen 2. He's just too cute. That Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawa naps while floating on the water, and it can battle using the shell-like object on its belly. Hey, Splash! I do love Oshawa, it's super cute. Oh, I, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing. How to go about catching Pokemon. Here you are, my boy. Pokeballs. Throw these at Pokemon to catch them. Wow, gave me 50 off the bat. I'll take it. Let's go. Ah, uh, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now, I've mentioned already that Pokemon are strange and marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. That is where the Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one of them at a Pokemon and, why, the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside of the ball, comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. I know we've just met, but I'm afraid I have no one else to turn to. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. Now, the proper technique is to tape and aim at the Pokemon and let the ball fly. It's quite that. It's quite simple. Though far be it from me to say so, I suppose, given my own dire lack of skill in this area. Okay. 
So Pokemon can get caught. Hold down the ZR button to ready the Pokeball. Uh, you can keep moving around if you do. Okay. Release it to throw. Okay. Seems simple enough. So I'm not sure if it's like the first Pokemon I catch becomes mine. So I'm just gonna... Eh. You've caught a Pokemon. It seems you've quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business, Dragon. Surely useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways left. Still, if this is most unusual, you don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. I mean, no. So now here's the question Do they. Does it function off of. Okay, so if I hold down that, it actually locks onto them. That's at least useful to know. Dang it! I could chuck a ball pretty friggin' far. Oh yeah. I can hardly believe it, Dragon. Incredible! You know, many people fear to even approach Pokemon. Never mind, catch them. Bravo indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap this up shoppish, shall we? Okay, and there is Cyndaquil. Hi, buddy. Hit you right in your schnoozle. Oh, how dare you break out? Ah, uh, yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly a 100% foolproof. Give it another go, old boy. Are you actually following me past the rock? Ah. Take this. <laughs> Oh yeah, try to get fancy with it, didn't work. Yeah, I caught your three Pokemon. There you go. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, all three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't listen to anyone yet. And as I've mentioned, they bolted from the village and almost as if they knew you'd come falling. But I must say, Dragon, I was taken back by how well you use Pokeballs. How is it that you catch Pokemon so ably when you only have just arrived? One can only help but think that there is a reason you have appeared here and now. Seek out all Pokemon. That object is an arc phone, you say. What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? If you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to compile the, this region's first complete record of its Pokemon. We in the field call such a catalog a Pokedex. Yes, a proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all Pokemon to be found in a region. But in order to properly document a Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them. Therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented, and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. A situation right for teamwork, don't you agree? Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my boy? You've convinced me! Then whoever and wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We have a Pokedex co to complete. First things first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then we'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all of that. Follow me then, onward to Jubilee, Vill Jubilee Village, really? So is this supposed to be like in, I think what, Jubilee City is what, like Gen 4? Is that what it is? Is that where it's supposed to be is like, this is supposed to be like Gen 4 region, I guess? I mean, would make sense. Oh, this is a quite cozy little town. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsman. This young man was of great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing him into the village for a bit.
It's not a bad little town. Oh, I see the, I see the, um, what's it, the uh, Galeria Easing thing in the background. That's funny. All right, right back, right back there. It's, it looks like Galarian wheezing. This way, if you please. I want to know what that mountain is with that snowstorm or whatever behind it. Jubilee Village. It has come a long way, and I was reading that, but okay. This road we're on is now known to locals as Kanala Avenue. The village was built scarcely two years ago. There's much to do it and not many for us to do it. And since we know little of the local Pokemon, people hesitate to set foot outside of the village. Now, that impressive building up ahead of us is Galaxy Hall, headquarters of this entire outfit. And why does it look like the logo for Team Galactic? Oh, bother, Rachel, I'd almost forgotten. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokemon. Might I ask you to wait for me at the canteen? It's just past this bridge here, and then to the left. The Wallflower, it's called. Okay, I'll go. Oh, I'm getting called from God. Somehow it seems to show you where to go next. Use the minus button to access the map, okay? And it gives me guidance markers. Sweet, I'll take it. All right, let's go. I'm pretty sure I can't really do anything here just yet. Well, that's the canteen. That looks like a general wear type store, I think. That almost looks like an aesthetician for like hairstyles. And this looks like clothing shop. Okay. Well, at least those are pretty, pretty easy to kind of memorize of where they're at. Ain't too bad. Um. Crafting? This almost looks like a blacksmith shop, so I would, pro I would probably assume a little bit of crafting. And that kind of looks like training grounds. Oh, yeah, if I literally look up in the top left-hand corner, it says training grounds. Okay, well, I, I guess that right. <laughs> Hello, I was told to wait here. Well now, aren't you awfully suspicious? The wallflowers for team for galaxy and team folk only. We don't have any seats for outsiders. Move along. What a jerk. Oh. Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you are. What if you were attacked by a Pokemon? You'd be minty in those flimsy clothes. If the guard let you through, you must have ties with someone in the village. Perhaps you've met Professor, Professor Laventon? He's a scholar from a faraway place. His Pokemon do get away from him at times, though. Makes me a bit worried for him. I suppose I'm hardly one to talk to. I've had some trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thundershock not long ago and had to take time to, front to my bed. But then... But the Professor, well... I do wonder how long he'll last. Unfortunately, it's just as Akari says. I'm clumsy. I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Professor! But everything will be quite alright now. Dragon here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. Her face! Excuse me. You plan to appoint him to the Survey Corps? You can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Silene's permission. I'll allow it. Okay, she looks like female Cyrus. She legitimately looks like female Cyrus. Oh, Lord. It is Team Galactic. Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I am the captain of Galaxy Team's Survey Corps. You may call me Silene. Professor Leviton has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control. Now it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. You look to be 15 or so. Quite old enough to work for your keep. But we simply can't take a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skills or origins. 
Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh, a most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you have, you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite all right. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals with, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. Jeez. Aloof as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversations then, eh? Any old chum, the usual potato mochi, if you please. Uh, but make it three for today. Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never fails to please. He's so happy. Professor Lavington, where exactly did you meet our visitor here? Ah, well, you know, that great hole in our sky? The one that people call the space-time rift? Our new friend fell right out of it. You can't be serious. Come now, I am a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself only with facts. Now, you already know that there are many Pokemon here in the Hisui region. That there are, in the grass, in the forest, walk by water, or where. Our job as a Survey Corps is to research them and find out what kind of creatures they are. Well, I know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. But it's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. But that's where Dragon will come in. He successfully caught three Pokemon, three of them in quick order, you understand. No one in the Galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. This means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. Three? We have a hard enough time catching even one when wild Pokemon come after us. Ah, oh, well, to be perfectly fair, that Pokemon that the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. But the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well. And it seems our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. Do the Survey Corps... Do the Survey Corps... Re <laughs> I, can't, I, I can't figure out a voice for this guy, man. Do the survey corps really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? Your captain just ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi, you know. The slow progress on that Pokedex of yours clearly has an edge. I'm sure we'll start to rein in the good captain's stress eating soon enough. Now, have your fill, dragon. And think, if you make it into Galaxy Team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides all of its members needs, even if said members fell out of the sky. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> that was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. Yes, the food was lovely, but more importantly, you do remember that Dragon has to pass a trial to join the Survey Corps, don't you? Not to worry, I have complete confidence in Dragon's skills. Let's hope it is not misplaced. Dragon, was it? For tonight, at least, we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters over there. Thank you. But if you fail to pass a trial, we put to you tomorrow. You must move on. You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate, perhaps your death in the wilds. Jeez, that's morbid. It's either pass or you die. Death and Sainlin somewhat like Hisui in that they're both quite harsh. Now, now she puts, she simply puts on a stern front to help us keep, help to keep all of us safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned in for the night, eh? It's a good thing one can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here. I imagine our new friend has had enough falling for one day. And with that, I bid you both a good night. Thanks, Professor. Yes, good night. A rift in the sky. People falling from it. A wor the world is full of mysteries. So that's the rift I fell out of? Then why didn't I land on, like, a to the top of the... Why didn't I land on top of, like, the mountain? Why did I land, like... 
300, 400 miles away. Oh, this is quaint. This is cozy. Oh, it kicks your feet. It kicks your shoes off. That's that's really that's really not attention to detail for Japanese culture. I love it. Survey tips contain all sorts of useful information to help you carry out your survey work in the Hisui region. To read them at any time, simply press the up button. Okay, so it's just the, the help menu. Yes, yes, we'll make sure we save. We will do lots of saving. All right, time to turn in. Dress till tomorrow morning? Yes. We must sleep. We have things to do in the morning. I didn't like the sound of that. Dead next day. Morning, Dragon. Are you up? Right, some lightning last night, wasn't it? Today's the day of your trials, so uh, let's give it our all. I will ace this test. Don't you worry. I will ace this test. It will be e easier than making blueberry scones. What lovely weather we've got. I hope you've had some nice sleep, even if the land is strange and new to you. Let's head to headquarters. Captain Silene is waiting. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go for it. All right, let's get into here. Thank you. Where we go now? Sounds like a Pokemon gym in here. The Survey Corps offices are here on the first floor. Don't give up! Keep those eyes open! The wild Pokemon, they, they are everywhere, attacking from all sides. I set up my partner Pokemon, but against a whole pack, outnumbered! This is what happens when you go so far in the field, but the Medical Corps will put you, put you to rights. That man's with the Security Corps, even with his own partner, he took a beating from Wild Pokemon. Without partner Pokemon of your own, you might find this trial particularly trying. Captain Silene, Dragon is here. You may answer. Let us get straight to it. You wish to join the Galaxy Expedition Team, prove yourself capable by going out into the Obsidian Fields lands and catching three different Pokemon, three different species of Pokemon, Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Catching three Pokemon from the start? No one in the Galaxy Team has ever managed that. Did the stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for him if the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. The Galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you will be an asset to our cause. I will lend you one of our Survey Corps satchels to carry whatever you need into the field. Ah, I got a fanny pack. I love the Abra in the corner. Super cute. That satchel doesn't exactly match your... Uh, Mode of dress. Akiri. Or Akari. I'll expect you to step in if anything goes awry. Galaxy Team's entry trial. Well, alright, so while I'm accessing the map, press Y. Okay. Pardon, Dragon. Come with me a moment. Now then. Surely good morning to everyone. Is something the matter, Professor Laventon? In order to complete the, our, our Pokedex and, well, simply survive in this unforgiving land, Dragon must absolutely pass this trial. And as a professor of Pokemon, I've got just the ticket that can accomplish that. Of course. 
Roller! Sim, tranquilo. Ashaba. Come on, Dragon. Pick the Pokémon that strikes your fancy. With a partner of your own, you will be able to fight off wild Pokémon outside of the village. These little darlings are very near to me, but it's plain to see that they are rather curious about you. Well, my boy, which Pokémon would you like to keep as your very own? So, I've... You know, when I did my little play of a playthrough of Sun and Moon, I did choose Rowlet, and I've chosen Cyndaquil every single time I've done Gen 2. So I'm gonna go against my norm, and I'm actually gonna go with Oshawott here, because I've never I've never actually chosen Oshawott as a starter. So I figured, you know what? It's a new game. Let me choose a new starter I haven't chosen yet. Oh, he's so cute! Look at him! So adorable! And with that, one of the Pokemon you caught at Prelude Beach for me will now be yours to keep. Good show. I tucked Oshawa back inside of its Pokeball for you, so take it. It's yours. Oh yeah. Got ourselves an Oshawa. A word of advice, my boy. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon when you're out in the field. It looks as if they're cheering your their friend Ashwat on. Or perhaps they're jealous that it gets to help you with your trial. Well, that could be. They did go dashing from the village when Dragon fell out of the sky, after all. Well, not to worry, you two. I'll have you assist me with my research from now on. By the by, what species did Captain Silene charge you with catching? Oh, that's smashing! All three of those species can be found in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Let me see... Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial, then. Thank you. 20! These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work as a treat, as you've already seen. You'll have this trial cleared in no time. I guess you're finally ready. You'll have to leave the village for your trial. Turn left, and after you exit the headquarters, then head for the gate. Okay, I actually think this is a really, really good place to stop. Uh, in the next episode, I guess we'll do our entry trial and see where it goes from there. Appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Are you ready?